Gooding. The Jilks, who was put for then by Everson. And that'll be a caution. The Sydney Nova Tellers challenged then by Vince Everson. John Dreher protesting. And referees are under strict instructions to clap down on any dissent. As well on what they consider to be over vigorous play. Dreher still arguing. Well, they've both been cautioned. Referee was right on the spot, no push there. But it's Hopkins. Osborne, that was a neat turn by him. Not the best of passes. Chaz Jock scampering back as well to keep it in. And Kerr tackling with Clark, uh, with uh, Butler rather. Now his Clark in support. Cross in towards Biggins! And another excellent save by Hislop. Superb reactions then to keep out Wayne Biggins. Fast and flowing move by Stoke, which Biggins so nearly finished off. Here's the corner. Reading struggling to get it clear. Maybe Kerr can now. Is that a push? Yes, the referee has penalised it. Vince Overson. Belligerent figure. He's already been cautioned. Surely now, he'll be sent off. It's a red one. Overson has been dismissed to the dismay of the Stoke players. Well, here's what happened here. As he challenged with Dylan Kerr, the referee blew for the foul. And it was after that that he incurred the wrath of the referee again. Well, Joe Jordan looking very distressed down on the bench. Meantime, there's another caution. And another sending off. Now Biggins has been dismissed as well. Well, he was clearly being booked for the descent initially. First it was a yellow card, and then a red one. Amazing scenes here at Elm Park. Controversy. Biggins, who is a very volatile character, Stoke now are in all kinds of trouble. Williams. Osborne's cross, searching out Quinn. Only half away, and it's there from the level. Glorious stride by Stuart Lovell. Stoke have been punished. First time strike, and just beyond the despairing dive of Carl Muggleton. Now Jilks, off for Kerr, Jilks again. Now can he deliver a cross here? Not this time. side, backs up over on the far side. Now another yellow card. Dylan Kerr this time. We're seeing yellow and red cards like confetti tonight. Kerr, the latest man to be punished. Check. Kerr. Level had trapped for him initially. It's too late then. Here's Kerr now. 
want to level. Kerr with a chance. Terrific goal. That's an awesome strike by Kerr. And just after a minute from his booking, he has delivered a spectacular shot to make it 2-0 to Reading. And surely now end any hopes that Stoke might have had of coming back. This is Butler. Carruthers again. So easily hustled out of it though. And Reading could build from the back. Now with Williams. He's having a much easier time now than he was having earlier on when Biggins was marauding up front. Begins to get so close to scoring as well. Excellent pass hit by Holsgrove. Taylor's cross. And just tipped over the bar. Jokes went in. Brilliant header by Jokes. And how well Muggleton did as well to just tip it over the bar. Really fierce header. And such alert goalkeeping by Muggleton. Corner then to Reading. Again, it's not deep enough from the Kerr. Still Rennick pressing. Holsgrove. The keeper's lost it. Jokes has to be. It's three. Michael Jokes. Denied moments before that by the athleticism of Muggleton, but not this time. Smart piece of finishing. As the ball spun away, Lovell couldn't finish it off, but Jux most certainly could. Dylan Kerr. Up for Jux. Now Parkinson has played tidily in that anchor role tonight. Gooding. Way by Carruthers. Back defending now with the rest of his teammates. Sapper being held back. We kick to Stoke City. So something has gone their way. Not too much else has tonight. <laughs> Wallace. By Clark. All too intricate though by Stoke. They might get caught out again now. Jokes. Three Reading teammates arriving in the middle. And it's there. And Scott Taylor. A scorer on Saturday has bounced again. And it's turned into something of a rout in the second half. Very quick then to spot the possibility of a goal. Scott Taylor, his second goal in successive matches. 4-0. Way by Williams, just 30 seconds from the end. That fourth goal. And it's turned into a thoroughly miserable night for Stoke. You won't be believing this has happened to them. The final whistle to signal a triumph. For Reading, but in controversial circumstances, Michael Jilks, one of their scorers tonight. 4-0, it finished, but Stoke reduced to nine men, with referee Graham Foley having sent off Wayne Biggins and Vince Overson. And from there on, the tide really turned in Reading's favour. Dylan Kerr, a spectacular goal from him. Stuart Lovell got the other one, and Scott Taylor, of course, the fourth. But all the headlines, I think, are going to be around the referee and his decision to send off to Stoke City players.